Hello everybody and welcome to Pokemon White version. Um, I will be doing a Nuzlocke of this game while I do a normal run of Pokemon Black. So it's going to be a bit different. So I'm just going to skip <laughs> the title because um, I don't want it to be too loud while I explain my rules for my Nuzlockes. So this is my first Nuzlocke I've ever recorded. I have done a a Nuzlocke of Pokemon Black and White. I did a friend lock with my boy, and it was okay. <laughs> and I will admit, I did cheat a lot of deaths, because I kept resetting at points that I got upset at. But I'm going to try not to. I'm going to do a legit Nuzlocke. So, the basic rules that I'll be following, and I think I, I'm going to add one, is... Uh, you can only catch the first Pokemon you see in a route. The The second one kind of off to that is that you cannot catch duplicates. So say I catch a Lillipup in the, the first route. I cannot catch a Lillipup again or any of the, like a Herdier or a Scoutland. That line is completely cut off. And we have to nickname them to get attachment. And once it dies, it's dead. My only exception to that rule will be Max Revives, because Max Revives aren't common in this game. You can't, like, for example, if you played Gen 4, like the per Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, you can mine Max, uh, Max Revives, but you can't do that in this game. So, since you only get a limited amount, I would say I'm probably going to use them at some point. Probably just for, like, the end fight, but normal revives do not count. It has to be a max revive. So let's get started on my Nuzlocke. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I'm gonna move my mic a little closer. I'm sorry if you hear the mic moving. I just kind of want it in front. Anyway, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Little mouse. That's right, this world is widely inhabited by mysterious Pokemon creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We compliment each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is a particularly is particularly popular and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And this is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough for me. Can you tell me about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Now, I thought it would be funny. Because I did this on a white 2 Nuzlocke that I did. Um, <laughs> this is going to sound stupid as shit. But hear me out. <laughs> I'm going to play as a boy. And... <laughs> so... What I did was, I named myself Chris off of Chris McLean, and then every Pokemon I found I named after a contestant on Total Drama. So my whole little stupid plot thing that I had was he was collecting <laughs> campers to use on his reality show. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick to that one because that's cool. Okay, Chris. I mean, it is funny, so I'm gonna keep it. Your name is Chris? Yep. Oh, I pressed the button again. Okay. Oh, your name is Chris. What a wonderful name. Well, then I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. If you had to introduce us to our best friends, does that mean they were never our best friends? That's like what a parent would do to a kid. They're like, oh, I thought... Oh, well, don't you want your best friend, like, Charles, to come over? And I'm like, no, I was never friends with me, maybe an acquaintance, but I wouldn't say best friend. <laughs> this is young man is Sharon. He can be a little difficult, but he's an honest person. This young woman is Bianca. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Chris, the moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey... 
your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope that you find what's important to you on these travels. That's right, befriend, befriend new people in Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal of your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. It is autumn. I think when I started, it was in summer. Huh. So this version is a bit different. I believe two of the cities change, but we're not gonna get to White Forest at all. We're, the only change that we're gonna see is in the last town that we go to. And then a few Pokemon do change. Chris. I heard the Pokemon for Professor. Uh, we get to have a Pokemon? What is keeping Bianca? I know, right? I need to get this Nuzlocke started. <laughs> Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca, I've known you for 10 years and you have no sense of time, but seriously. Today's the day we get a Pokemon from the Pokemon Jun from Professor Juniper. I know! Sorry, Chris. Sorry, Charon. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered at Chris's house, so Chris gets to pick first. Naturally. Alright. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside the gift box. Okay, Chris, you go and take your first peek in the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. All right. Uh, what do you say? Oh, what kind of Pokemon could they be? Careful. Did you get a move? <laughs> Damn, that's mean. All right, fine, I will. Chris, open the gift box. All right. Now, this isn't a randomizer. I didn't know how to do that. Maybe I'll do a randomizer for Pokemon in White 2. So, we're just gonna do straight up. So, I would pick Oshuot, but that's a big no-no in Nuzlocke. You want to pick a Pokemon that isn't very common, and water and grass types are common. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go with Tepic here. <laughs> it's gonna pain me to have, like, two extra weaknesses, because he's a firefighting type, but... Yeah, I guess. I don't want to piss off the Nuzlocke community by not picking the fire type. <laughs> yeah, off the top of my head, I, I cannot picture a lot of fire types. Oh, Dormantan. That's one. Alright. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Sharon, that one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I want an Oshawa to start anyway. No, you didn't. <laughs> I did. Everyone is choosing a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca. Even though they're so weak Pokemon, you can't have a Pokemon battle inside a house. Don't be a worry, War. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they can get stronger. It's settled, Chris. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Now, some Nuzlockers do this, like, first battle as, like... This counts as if you lose and everything. You didn't know it has no ramifications. Um, it's pretty hard to lose this fight, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I officially think a Nuzlocke has started once we get the Pokeballs. I still can't hear anything on Tepic's side, which is okay, because I know it's there. It's just a little broken <laughs> headphones and music. <laughs> Yeah, so just just keep spamming attack moves. I'll go down eventually. Whew. Do I have Will? What's my other move that I have that I don't want to use? Tail Whip. It has two leers on me. That's not good. Is it possible to get a critical hit? I've never had a critical hit in, in the first battle. So I don't know if it's just coded to not be possible. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, that, that was decent. Okay. Alright, we killed Snipey. The Pokemon on both sides did their best. Alright, I mean, if you say so. <laughs> Great. Wow. 
Chris, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell. No doubt. Um, Bianca, would you take a look around? Whoa, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. I'm glad I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, uh, sorry about your room, Chris. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Chris Pokemon needs to be fixed up too. Thank you. Hey, Charon, how about you? How about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right. It's, it'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair that you two are the only ones to have fun battling. It's decided. You'll be my opponent for our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, Oshawott. You can tackle. That's all you can do right now. Not too bad. Okay. I'm a little worried about having letting him have Oshawa because I don't know what he gives Oshawa at all because I've always had Oshawa. So. <sighs> I mean, he'll probably be smart about it and not give it all attack moves and actually give it some like stat moves, but. Not the way I would use Oshawa, but everyone is different. Stop dropping my damn defense. I need you to go down. I'm glad they don't have potions this early, because I would be pissed. There we go. Dead. Let's go. Sweet! We won. So that is a Pokemon battle. I got $500. I mean, a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I better come too. Why don't you apologize to me? It's my room! My equipment! My exploited plans! The torture of random teenagers across the world. I am so sorry about the, all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Clean up? No worries, I can take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait, I have to go home first. Thanks for having us over. Alright, I think I nailed the voice for Sharon. It's like a fucking Bianca one. Bianca, sorry. My my Chris. Pokemon battles are sure lively, aren't they? I can hear the Pokemon's cries clearer down here. That reminds me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Sweet for healing. Your Pokemon are looking great. Now, if you're going to go out, don't forget your cross transceiver. Something we'll never use. Except in mandatory cutscenes. You're going to thank the professor too, right? You're going to thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. All right. I don't know why it took such an elaborate way out. Little for doves, they go fly, 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 fly. Alright, we need to go... Okay, that did not work. I was trying to speed up the game, but that did not work. I think it did, but it looked awful. <laughs> no, no, a thousand times, no! But I'm... I'm a good trainer who's got a Pokemon and everything. I could totally go on an adventure. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting in front of the lab, okay? 
Alright. We gotta get this nuzlocke along the way. Yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to press tab for speed up, but it looks like shit since we're not running. <laughs> okay, let's meet the professor. Let's get this nuzlocke going. I want to go catch my first Pokemon. Oh, I need a name, Tepic. Hi there. I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself. My name is Professor Juniper. We know your name. Come, come, Charon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave in some formality. That being said, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, why don't you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Hell yeah. It's a boy. So, I had two options just in case it wasn't, like, either, like, either gender. Um, I'm going to name this thing Owen, because it makes sense. <laughs> there we go. If it was a girl, I would have named it Sugar, but... Owen is such a perfect first starter name, especially for Chris McLean, so we're gonna stick with that. Uh -huh, I see, are you okay with the name Owen? Yep. Owen is, it, is its name. That's such a great name. As for why I gave you all the Pokemon, it's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I am astounded. Nice work, Charon. You have already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? So, let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So, if you... I want all three of you to visit many places and meet all the Pokemon in the Univer region. This is my request. Chris, Charon, Bianca. You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? Okay. I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer, exactly what I always wished. All of you, thanks. I'm going to give you the best- you've given me the best possible answer. We got a Pokedex. It is red instead of pink. <laughs> Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me in Route 1, okay? I might skip through that. Since the, Pokemon Since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life? I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel wherever we want while completing the Pokedex. Alright. I am leaving. <laughs> ah, so many damn cutscenes at the beginning. Hey, Chris, wait up! Oh, there you are. And what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it. Well, actually I can. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you three of these town maps. Take them with you. Sweet. We'll never use that. <laughs> Here you go, Charon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Thank you so much. As for your room, Chris, or what's left of it, no need for any of you to worry. I'll take care of tidying it up. Okay, Chris? Ah, oh, Pokemon, they are so cute and they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They're really something. With Pokemon like that on your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you'll like in the Univer region and become a wonderful adults. Have a great trip! Man, they really do kick you out of the house as soon as you turn like 10. <laughs> They're like, alright, here's your town map, here's your Pokemon, here's the Pokedex. Alright, done. So we head around one? The professor's waiting. Yeah, yeah, we're going. Let's go, let's go, Chris, hurry up. We can too, okay? Yeah, what the fuck? How come fucking chariots have running shoes? I want running shoes. Oh, Chris, it's this way. Yanka says since we're starting our journey together, she wants all of us to take our first steps at the same time. Hey, Chris. Let's all take our first steps to route one together. Okay, here we go. One, two. This is a cute moment. I like that. Oh, I wonder what will happen. This is so exciting. It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. She's right there. Just give it... Take the stick out of your ass. <laughs> professor Juniper, I am sorry to keep you waiting. 
Now, let her <laughs> tear Alex. She she fucking ignored him. She knows she's a fucking class pet. Pokedex pages automatically update automatically when you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up so you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. And we are going to grab, skip this shit. At least try to. I think if I press equals, it'll go fat. Yeah. I mean, it's basic. I would recommend for a Nuzlocke, though, in the first few areas, just throw the ball, you know? Because you don't want to risk killing it in a critical hit and, like, lose your encounter. So I would recommend doing this shit for, like, maybe, like, Route 4. Or maybe Pine Wheel Forest, but not, not here. Do you see that just now? That's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon that still have a lot of energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use the Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch. Fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap it up in the best way, I have a gift for you, some Pokeballs. And now our Nuzlocke has started. Okay, all right, we need to, yeah, cumulative town. Got it, I wanna catch my Pokemon. You forgot to say that Pokemon jump out of you in tall grass. What a fucking stuck up. I'm heading to a cumulative town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, Chris, Charon, I thought of something fun, but we need to get going. I imagine the Pokemon presser is waiting. Will you listen to me for a second, seriously? Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one they received from Presser Juniper, is the winner. Huh, that actually sounds interesting. It would fill up the pages of the po Pokedex, so I'm up for that. Okay, until we reach Akuma Town, take care of filling your Pokemon in your own house. Me and Snivy will do our best for sure. Let me exit and leave. Why am I still going so fast? There we go. I think my tab key got stuck, and that's why it was being weird. Alright. Alright, we got our first encounter. It's a Lillipop! It's a girl! Aw, oh, I'm sad. I never get to hear Tepix uh, cry now, because cause I can't hear from the, the headphones. Alright. Like I said, just throw. I didn't throw the Pokeball. Don't like throw the game. <laughs> See? Perfect. That has been added to the Pokedex. We got our first Pokemon. Except it really isn't the first. Because we have our starter. The long hair around its face provides an amazing radar that lets it sense subtle changes in its environment. Okay. Uh, yes, we have to name it. Uh, a girl dog. You Knows some pretty good fang moves. No, fuck it. We're naming Courtney. <laughs> Where's the U.I. There's Court. Oops. There we go. Court. Man, for the, the spacebar being, like, such a big key on the keyboard, I keep missing it. Alright, it's Courtney. Now, I don't like Courtney, but I will have her on my team. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, let's talk to this lady, because she has a potion that we can have. And right before I can talk to her, we run into a battle. It's a pet rat! Alright, uh, kill it. I mean, pet rat is a somewhat good choice. 
Um, you can give it so many annoying moves, like Mean Look, Hypnosis, Super Fang, and then like have a move that can actually finish it off, because Super Fang can't kill a Pokemon, at least I don't think so. It always does half of what it, what um, what HP it has. So like, those three moves are annoying in itself, and then combining them all together makes me not want to be here anymore. So, highly recommend for a Nuzlocke to have an annoying Pokemon like that. Yep, can you give me the potion, please? Thank you. I am allowing myself to use items in battle, because if I don't, I think I would cry. <laughs> I wish I worked my toe higher with the rest often. Alright. We should probably look at what we have so far. For some reason, it looked like Tepic was, like, yellow, so I thought it was a shiny. It's just for some reason. Lax nature, which means plus defense minus special defense. And they always have Blaze as the ability. And for Courtney, it's plus speed minus special attack. That's pretty good, because the dog doesn't know any special attack moves. So that's actually pretty damn good. So she's going to be a speedy attacker. And she has pickup, which I believe, like, when she evolves, she, it will be Sandstorm. Or Sandstream, my bad. Let's actually put Courtney in the front to give her some levels. Alright. We gotta see what she can do. And I also, I'm gonna try not to go over the level cap for each gym too much. If it's over a level, it's fine, but I'm not gonna go like 10 levels over, because I think that would be a pain for me on my end, so. So, I'm hoping that like, maybe gym five, we won't have too many deaths. Because I'm the only gym leader that I'm really worried. Well, two is Clay, and can't remember his name. I think his name is Bruce. That that might not be right. Um, it's the the dragon dude, but but Clay can like end like Nuzlocke early if you're not careful. So that's why I'm really worried, especially that we don't have Oshawa as our first starter. We don't have like a guaranteed water type, so. I'm a little worried. I'm a little frightened. Because we obviously can't use ice types because ground types always know a rock type move. So that's not a very good idea. So, just a little worried about that. And also, for a Nuzlocke, I have to be aware of a move called Bind because I keep getting killed to it. And it's a move that basically, like, I don't know how to explain it in a way that you can- Okay, Corny, you're done. You're done. <laughs> Alright, get the- No. No, stop it. Um, it's a move that if- It's mainly for pad rats, I've noticed, that have this move a lot. It basically stores energy that, like, so every time you hit it, it stores- it not only it takes damage from it, but it stores the energy, and then after two turns, it releases all the energy. So if you almost kill it, and it releases all of its energy, it's going to kill you. <laughs> and trust me, I know the hard way. <laughs> so I had to be real careful about Bind. Dude, Courtney almost died, but she's level 5 now. Odors, um, I don't think that'll do much early on. I'm gonna take her out of the front real quick. Alright. What does the sign say? Route 1. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> A little pup. All right, that's fine. All right, Ember. 
I mean, we do get a guaranteed grass. Be oh, okay. Um, anyway, we do get a guaranteed grass site because I picked Tepic as our um, as our starter. So our our elemental monkey will be Pansage, which I think after we use him for the um, for the gym leader, I <laughs> we're gonna throw him right inside the daycare. <laughs> So he can start, like, learning better, like, get some H, like, um, some levels, some maybe better moves, and then by the time we use him for clay, we'll evolve him. And use him. How about it, Chris? Do you want to compare the, which one of us has the most Pokemon? Seems like the number of Pokemon Chris has is two. We all have the same number, then. Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you've found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Akimua Town. The professor's waiting. Hold on. Hold on. My phone's going off. Hold on. It's probably my agent. Hello. Oh, how's everyone doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great. Great now, right? Professor Juniper. Right now, I'm standing in front of Akimua Town's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry over, everyone. I love how she answers the phone with her hand like that. I, my characters not want to talk either. They're always constantly holding their hat. So, really, who is the special one here? I'm going on ahead. All right, you say so, bitch. All right. I think I'm going to stop it here. I think this is a pretty good stopper. So we'll, how do I save the game again? I know there's like two ways. Let's go ahead and save the normal way. This music is really good for a first area. Alright, and I believe if I file... Okay, Shift F1. That's how you do it. Where's F1 on my keyboard? There it is. There we go. Alrighty, so we got to the first area. We have two Pokemon with us now. No deaths. Besides Corny, like, bleeding out right here. But, um, it's fine. So I hope you enjoyed this first start of the Nuzlocke. I'm gonna try to do these more. Uh, I wanna do these at least every Friday. Or Monday. I'm gonna do, like, a coin toss to see. But I think I'm gonna do these on Mondays. So, thank you so much for watching. Um... This was a blast to do a Nuzlocke and everything, and also do like this the other Gen 5 game that isn't the sequel, so yeah, I can't wait to see like what new Pokemon I get to use, like I'll like what will happen. Hopefully, not too many deaths. So but alright, I'll see you guys next time for part two. Bye bye!